Hi, I'm George Washington, the first president of the United States. And I'm Abraham Lincoln. I was president sometime after him. So forget the State of the Union. Tonight we're here to talk about the state of personal technology. I cannot tell a lie. Back in the 1700s, things were very, very hard. For instance, when I chopped down a cherry tree, I had to use a hatchet. It took me hours. Try building a log cabin with only a hatchet. Now, for today's woodcutting needs, we have things like this. Whoa! This, yes! This what? is the steel 230C. Now this is a chainsaw. It uses an internal combustion engine. You apply it to wood and the tree will fall right down. And how exactly does it work? I mean, how many hours of chopping can you get done? You can get done uh, about six hours of chopping on one tank of petrol. Some sort of thing that seeps out of the ground and they cook it and, 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 and clean it and put it in here and it drives the engine back and forth, up and down. So George, how much would something like that actually cost? 300 American dollars. 300 American dollars! Do you know how many electric beard trimmers I can buy for that money? My goodness, what does the missus think of this? It has a vacuum inside that can collect the hairs. Whoa, whoa, slow down, Thomas Alva Edison. What is a vacuum? A vacuum is a uh, space in which neither of us can breathe or exist. Thus, Mrs. Lincoln does not have to clean up the sink because there won't be little bits of hairs everywhere. I bet that does annoy her greatly. Martha and I never fight, except for one thing, my teeth. Why don't you just brush them? Because toothbrushes weren't widely dispersed during the 1700s. However, in 2010, this is an electric toothbrush! <laughs> what? It uses sound waves to, uh, and vibrations to uh, loosen the plaque and other food particles that are on your teeth and also force water in between your gums, thereby cleaning them and giving you a much, much better brushing experience. So it's a lot like flossing, but with electricity. Also, you take your toothbrush head at the end of the evening, uh -huh. and you place it in this chamber, shut the chamber, and then ultraviolet light disinfects your brush. Well, in addition to personal health, uh, personal safety is pretty high on my list. I understand you had an incident at Ford's Theater. I got shot point-blank range uh, when I was just at the theater. It's pretty unfortunate. So, Lincoln doesn't mess around anymore, George. What? Could this deflect musket fire? The thing with the advanced combat helmet is that it will not stop a bullet at close range, which probably would not help myself. However, it does send a very clear message. John Wilkes, better luck next time. So, what are you going to do today? I think I'm going to go home and emancipate this face from my beard. All right, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go carve my face into the side of a mountain with this. <laughs>